It was the end of the 20th century, from Art Nouveau to the Plastic Age, from Dadaism to Punk, Nijinsky to Hip Hop. Counter cultures mark this habit wreaking century. During this time, information technology, just like music, was starting to draw attention with a number of promising digital prospects. Some people, fascinated by the phenomenon and glued to their small screen, let their imaginations take over. It was our thing. We yearned for wide open spaces and we found them, or rather, we came across them. Graphic artists, seduced by its convenience, brought it to light. They advertised its qualities and the news spread like wildfire. Music to our ears, beauty to our eyes. It brought the flow, precision, and feeling we were waiting for. We found it in a luminous range of colors, but no dissonance. The first time I saw it, I was startled by the lack of smell, which I thought meant it lacked character. But the moment I held it in my hand and shook it, I knew it had a soul, a sound, a distinct clack clack that set the tone. I laid it on paper and I recognized it for what it was, for who I was. I laid it on a rock and a door opened up. It was new, it was meant for us. We were nothing, we were free, we were a few invigorated shadows in the darkness preparing an offering of pieces for the morning. We were creating the unknown, depicting the world on trains, trucks, concrete walls. Fingers were pointed at us, people chased us. We stuck together and carried on. We were hesitantly talked about, but carried on. We were photographed, invited to displaying galleries and museums, and we carried on. Today, we have reached maturity. The new generation is taking over. The mandate to live and create is now theirs. Posca is celebrating its 30th birthday. History is being made.